I regret this. But I mean, it has to happen eventually at one point or another. Did I do anything else as a wheelie? The answer is no. Yeah, the answer is no. So I shouldn't be mashing the start slash stop button. I was trying to do this once. Didn't seem to work. I hate, hate playing really. All you can do is just run at them. And so many bosses, if you just run at them, you get hurt. I like stone. I really like the stone ability, but it's like the big problem if the enemy doesn't move and you're just stuck on top of them. It's in the. Uh, oops, I actually stopped. Because then you're just like sitting there waiting or taking damage. I could get past the E.D. without uh, the, the maximum tomato. It's like I could just do this. What's he gonna do about it? Dino Blade, on the other hand, I'll gladly take a uh, healing for it. Off to a great start. Oh, actually, that went very well. Pretty good. Go. just like attack me and stop doing that so that way I can actually like start damaging the Lord come on now thank you oh you know I should probably be using like the break so that way I can go through fatty whale and get more hits and consider that option I don't actually does that help? You go oh well. Does it help if you get grabbed? Yeah, you lose your invincibility if you're breaking. Never mind. Completely worthless. That move. A boss rush. Also not really sure of the utility in break in the first place. If I die to the mid-bosses, I die to the mid-bosses. 
I'm gonna die to the mid bosses. He backed up. He backed up and sat on me, basically. God dang it. That, what the heck, okay, that sounded so laggy on my end, like, I hope that didn't just have some weird audio weirdness on this, but well, whatever, it was for like a second. But wheelie, yeah, let's go wheelie, woo, everyone loves wheelie, like, they got so many options to do, like, charge forward. And charge forward! Woo! Like, look at that. I mean, I turned too soon. I don't think it can grab me if I didn't turn. But, you know, I turned. So, that was bad. I thought maybe I could turn, get through it fast enough, but nope. But man, I wish Wheelie could do more than this. It's like, this is just not good. Not really at all. It's like, what? Well, look, look at this situation. I just sit here and have to do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna charge her Bugsy and hit the wall and then take damage because it doesn't do enough damage to kill a corpse. And you know, that's Wheelie's only attack. <laughs> and meanwhile, for Krako, I have to do that because if I try doing the thing where you just repeatedly turn around like that, sure, it hits Krako. But you don't have nearly as much invincibility as if you're full speed charging. Same goes for, uh, like, slow charging. Like, sure, you can charge really slowly by holding down the brakes and making you move slow. But you'll still do damage, but you don't have invincibility, so you're just gonna get hurt. You know, right there, I noticed that I just hit jump and charge. And it just, like, it carried my moment upward momentum. So I still arced, like, upwards into the air. Which would have been helpful to know before fighting the rest of them, like, in, earlier on in that fight with Krago. Nimi, on the other hand, because how long it takes before you can hit them again anyways, are actually pretty fine. It's pretty okay for Wheelie to fight the Because, like, you hit him once, and then by the time you're done turning around, he's now just ending his, uh, oh my god, I've been hit animation. So you can just be okay and not have to worry about it. You know, I have no idea if Dino Blake can grab you if you're using the charging forwards. But I, had, I don't think I was close enough to the talents to get grabbed, thankfully. And now Fatty Whale. This boss honestly sucks. For real heat. There was an example of me turning around too soon, I think. No, wait, I, I remember something about this fight was not right. I know there was one moment in this fight where I took damage because I went and hit the stop button, but instead of stopping and then turning me around, it turned me around and then stopped, which made Wheelie go like really far forward, so that might have been that moment. I'm not completely sure. I just remember that did happen at one point. And it, it like, it confused me and slightly annoyed me. Well, you know, Wheelie doesn't have to deal with no waterfall. Thankfully it doesn't do damage, because I mean, that would be broken if it did. Because most, ca most abilities can't do anything about that waterfall. But, you know. It's always neat when you see a, a way to just not actually get flung up in the air by the waterfall. Now, Camellio Arm. It's going well. You can see. Like, they just had to go super high up in the air so I can't just do one jump and charge. They had to go to the very top of the wall like a very rude chameleon. And then I die. 
because I did not think Camellio Arm would. I just hurt myself. Oh, I, I was about to say, hold up, I'll let me go back, but I, that doesn't change the recording. It's fine, it's fine. But uh, yeah, I did not think they had that much range. And that's how come I remembered that I there was that moment with Fatty Whale because I remembered I got upset at this moment. Like I was irritated. And conveniently enough, because uh, I was talking to my dad after recording the last post commentary, because this is right after the last episode, like I just finished uh, like setting up the last episode to be available to have, like graded export and whatnot. Uh, so I was just staring at like the the characters of select screen and whatnot, and it, I remembered that there was a moment in time where I got upset, and like the way that the cursor moved was kind of annoying. Uh, I don't think it was here because I, I didn't make a cut in this moment at all. Like I have I have this attempt and the other attempt. Or like, you know, the one we just watched. Like, as one just went, because I didn't need to make a cut or anything. Because I just went straight into this, this attempt. Dude, it's just feeling like I got gypped. Because like, if I didn't get hit by a fatty whale in that one moment where breaking didn't break, or like stopping didn't stop, I mean. Or if I just didn't underestimate the range of Camellio arm. Like, I would have not have died. I would have lived. Would I have still won that fight? Probably not. You know. Whatever. So. Like, it was okay that I died. Cause it's like, look how much better this run is going. It's like, still full health at Dino Blade. Pretty good. But. As for the main menu. I do remember a moment in time. Where I got annoyed because I found out that. Or, like, because the movement on the character select screen is kind of weird. You know, it's not the most intuitive on which direction you're going to go when you hit down twice. Kind of goes right once and left, and then left, and it, like, alternates. It's like, that's not very clear. Also, I like to mention that you can double hit Dino Blade, and that's awesome. But, uh, like, I got annoyed with that, because... I don't remember when in the stream it happened. I just know somewhere in the stream it happened and I selected the wrong character. And it, it just annoyed me because I think I was already irritated in that moment. From something that happened. I don't remember what happened. I just remember something happened. But, uh, yeah. At least, though, I did mention this even in the stream, like, at least it's not as bad as Overwatch's, like, when you're looking at the stuff that you've unlocked for characters in Overwatch. Like, the, the way the cursor moves in that, it's just bad. It's just not good. Like, you hit down, then you hit up, right? Let's say you're on, uh, I don't know, Reaper, and then you hit down, and then you hit up. You won't go back to Reaper. You'll be whoever is to the left of Reaper. Because for some reason, that's how they decided to make the cursor. And that is just stupid. Whereas I think in this game, like, it still moves weird. Like, it does, like, an alternating left and right kind of thing. But, if you hit down and then hit up, I think that I, I might be wrong. But I think this game makes it so hitting down and then up puts you back on who you started at. So... There's at least that. Overwatch doesn't, and I hate that. Because it always bothers me when I'm look looking at the character's stuff, like, while maybe waiting for my sister to look at, like, I don't know, like, maybe the winter skins and stuff, where I, I might have already done it because I got on a little bit earlier in that day or something. You know? And it's just, like, it, it's just a pain. But at least it's not, like, a main aspect of the game that's, like, gonna hinder your gameplay and make the game horrible. It's just, like, a nuisance that you honestly just deal with. Just a nice little taunt. Crouch and turn around back and forth. 
not quite as good with Wheelie as it is with uh, Poppy Pro Jr. I love how it looks with Poppy Pro Jr. It's just the face that they make. It's great. Man, imagine how cool it would have been instead of saying Mid Boss All Stars 2 still, like, actually changed to be the name of the enemy, like, that you're currently fighting. Like, before you start the first fight, it, like, it just says the All Star stuff, and then when you actually start fighting them, it changes to their name. That'd be cool. Would have been really neat. But I can see why they wouldn't do that, like, it's unnecessary. Also, I think, not confident, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, there it is. This is the moment that I realized the breaking does have one purpose in this game, and that is to just kill Wispy Wood and Twin Woods easier. That's it. That's it. Otherwise, I don't really see too much of a point. Because, like, sure, you don't bonk on a wall. Great. But, like... Any puzzle, quote-unquote, that requires you, or like any challenge that requires you to use the wheel ability, uh, requires you to go fast and never use the brake or you will not make it in time. And fighting bosses and stuff, you can't break because you take damage, because you don't have the invincibility. And so you just had to do moments like that, where you're just waiting for Heavy Lobster to move forward, because you can't do anything without hitting the wall unless you jump above them, which risks the, the chance of Heavy Lobster just jumping and hitting you anyways. So it's like the breaking, just unnecessary. Also, it sucks that Wheelie can't jump. Like, it's not like they haven't made characters have like their own movesets or anything, like their own unique move, you know? Like, Meta Knight has an up stab, so does Sword Knight. And that's just a sword ability. Kirby doesn't get that move. Uh, Bugsy has... The Bugsy is their own character. For the, like... Just in general. Because, like, they needed... Or, like, Bugsy has a down air, I guess. I don't actually know if the suplex moves are different. I feel like they probably are. But they might not be. But... Bugsy has their own moves, so like, why couldn't they just give Wheelie the ability to jump? Because it's not like it wouldn't make sense, right? Like, sure, there's supposed to be the wheel ability, and the wheel ability doesn't normally let you jump unless you're riding your, uh, Wheelie partner. But, like, because of that, that's why you should be able to jump. It would make Wheelie so much better to play as. If they could just jump while charging. You know, just like how Kirby can jump on a Wheelie. I don't get why they didn't make that a thing. But it would help with, like, Cracko, Dino Blade, I think it was Camellio Arm, if they're not at the very top of the wall. But, oh well. I guess the wheel, wheel ability just gets the shorter end of the stick. It's just one move, and that's it. That's just- it's his life, it's assistance, it's just that. Also makes computer- like, even with that, like, it wouldn't make computer virus better. Computer virus just is a slog. So all you can do is that, and it's just- I'm sure it does 23 damage a hit, but you only get two. Pretty sure. I think in the dragon, maybe I did double hit. It sounded like I did a double hit there. But yeah, it's like you don't. It's like you don't actually end up doing that much. But hey, it's also a DS game. It's not gonna be perfect. No game is perfect. Like, that's just unrealistic. Also, there's another example of Meta Knight doing like the the wave across the ground, uh, and it goes backwards. That that move. Like I don't. Know why it went backwards? It's just kind of weird. But hey, we did it! Or, like we made it to Wayne Man Rock, and we have full health because we have maximum tomato. Because this run went so much better than the last one at the start of it. Definitely, points in this run are it's still improved. 
in terms of not taking needless damage. Like, example would be not risking stuff like that. Because I just did two risky maneuvers twice in a row. Or I just did a risky maneuver twice three times in a row. Never mind. Or I tried to time it to uh, hit the hand and bonk off the wall to where I still have invincibility frames. So that way I don't get hit when the hand's disappearing. I mean, to be fair, I was successful both times there, I just stopped too soon. But, like, it's kind of unnecessary risk that I'm taking with that. I don't, to be fair, or, and, like, to explain why I'm doing that is just the fact that, like, I noticed, I don't know if it was this attempt or the last attempt, but I noticed that, uh, Wheelie, when they bonk on the wall, has a lot of invincibility frames compared to, like, any other characters. Like attacks, like dash attacks and stuff. Like you actually have a decent amount. It doesn't last until you hit the ground. Like you're still in the air when it ends. But it's good enough to to stall out. Like right there. Here, like you can just see how long I'm flashing for. Not bad. This is why I question like uh, some of the other characters and whatnot. Like, amount of invincibility they get on some of their moves. Where, Wheelie just gets, like, they bonk on the wall, lasts for such a long time. Other characters, not really. Oh well. Gotta give Wheelie something, I guess. But that'll do it for this episode of, uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra. It was just Wheelie this episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye